Hey everybody, I'm Max, and this is my channel, Trader Custom Engraving. Uh, I teach about stainless steel cup engraving, specifically with rotary tools. Um, I would like to make videos about uh, you know any tips and tricks that come with uh, rotary tool engraving, such as what tips uh, and burrs to use. Um, you know how to make designs and put them onto the cup. Uh, you know stuff like that. Um, after my first video, uh, you know, you guys have been awesome, you know, 26 subs, uh, all the comments and likes, I really appreciate you guys. Um, out of all the comments, I got a co uh, comment from my buddy, Isaiah Gerke. Uh He said that, um, I'm stoked for this, congrats on progress, my dude. Uh, I personally would like to see a video of your uh, setup and... Um, like where do you uh, do your engraving? What uh, personal protective equipment do you use? Uh, what tools and your opinions on them? Uh, I honestly know nothing about Dremels and tools for engraving and, and whatnot, but I always love custom stuff and making things um, your own. Uh, thank you for your comment, bro. Um, I will definitely show you around my garage and everybody else. Uh, and uh, show you what tools I use uh, as of right now. Um, as far as uh, equipment for sound, uh, I just bought me this uh, wireless system uh, for a microphone. It's, uh, it's got a lavalier mic on it. Uh, tell me in the comments, how does it sound? Do you uh, like the way it sounds? Um, for video, I'm using my iPhone. 11 Pro Max. Um, tell me what you think of the video. Uh, do you like it or not? Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you guys around my garage and uh, any tools that I use. Alright guys, welcome to my garage. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, it's you know, got two cars and both Subarus. I'm a super fan. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, I got a bunch of stuff here, um, mainly, um, you know, my bike and whatnot. Um, got a bunch of saws, but uh, yeah, this is my table right here. This is, um, you know, a little bit of storage over top, nothing much. Uh, I got some cabinets over there with a bunch of tools. Um, I'm looking to do like a countertop up there, you know, just to have more room to put stuff on. Um, yeah, this is my uh, light box that I made on my own. Um, you know, all the white backgrounds on cups, you know, this is all where I make it all. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on that, I can, uh, you know, more than happy to do that for you. Um, as far as what's uh, in here, just, you know, some whiteboards from Michaels and, um, you know, just some paper in the background. I uh, got a like a rotating thing for cups, so I don't have to rotate them with my hand, which I've done that in the past. I just you know got like a little carousel thing and uh, lazy Susan, I should say. Uh, basically, kept turning it, and once I got at a certain speed, uh, you know, I start recording. So this is uh, definitely an upgrade. <laughs> um, so uh, as far as equipment, honestly, this is it right here on this table. So um, my iPad, you know, uh, I use my iPad for a lot of things. Um, you know, Procreate, you know, is my go-to. Um, I do a lot of designs, you know, such as uh, you know, recent designs that I've made that are, you know, the power tool uh, cup that I just recently made, you know, all those designs are all made in Procreate. And then I uh, bring them onto uh, my illustrating program and turn them into, um, you know, uh, illustrations that I can actually use in vector format. Um, so my next thing is uh, burrs. Uh, these are my diamond burrs that I received 
from Amazon. I didn't receive a bottom, but um, yeah, these are uh, these are okay. But um, I don't really prefer Amazon for uh, anything burr involves. Uh, I tend to go to different um, places to get better quality, but. Um, it will do for a beginner. Uh, I would definitely recommend going and uh, you know getting a set or two for a few bucks. They're not expensive. Um, some of the burrs and uh, polishers that I've gotten for uh, stainless steel cups. Let's say if you're engraving um, a stainless steel cup that doesn't have a color. You know, you can easily just use one of these uh, buffers with some metal polish and really make that cup shine. Um, different burrs that I've gotten over the year. Um, I think this is a steel burr and all of these are uh, steel or tungsten carbide burrs. Um, I got different sizes. You know, depending on what you're working on um, and how detailed your work is, you know, um, I try to have as many sizes as possible. Um, let's see. This set right here, um, it's got a bunch of different uh, tungsten carbide burrs. Uh, that I like to use. Um, I like to use this one right here for stippling. It's the uh, Dremel uh, 9905. Uh, these are pretty awesome for stippling. Um, I would definitely recommend trying. Um, I'm sure there's others out there that can do probably a better job, but this is what uh, I know. So, But if you know something else, let me know. And I will definitely add that to my uh, to my list. <laughs> um, I got more of uh, diamond burrs and rubber burrs. Uh, you gotta have the rubber burrs just to like polish things up or clean up. If you leave some paint on the um, cup, you know you can easily just use a rubber burr and uh, erase that paint. And be careful because you can easily erase your design off and mess up your whole cup with it so um so as far as the like camera equipment i use a canon t3i i've had this thing for years and i haven't actually used it for anything um but i've tried using uh using it for videos but it doesn't have autofocus so uh yeah i can't really use that but what i do use it for is product shoot so cups you know uh, this is my go-to uh, it's pretty good for that reason so yeah I'll keep it around <laughs> um, as far as the kit lens you know this is the 18 to 135 kit lens uh, it does pretty good job on uh, creating a depth of field um, this is the nifty uh, 50 uh, you gotta have this for some awesome blur in the background. Uh, this is uh, one of the best uh, lenses to have. Um, I got me an uh, aperture light. This one is RGB, so uh, let me turn it on. It's got like different uh, colors on it and you know, you can change it around. It's pretty awesome. I haven't really played much around with this, but uh, I can easily make some cool photos, you know, of cups or whatever with this light. Um, it's got like a small diffuser on there. You know, if you want to diffuse some light, you know, you can use this to diffuse your light. Um, I got some uh, lights. I actually put those into my box to light it up. Um, these are pretty nice. Um, you know, you can probably use this for making videos and whatnot. You know, they're fairly decent, and and uh, you can change the temperature and you know to warmer or you know whatever. It works great. I like it. 
Um, this is just like my burrs that I've been using and I want to put them back with my brand new burrs. Uh, this is just a, a plethora of things. I, I like to use a brush so when you're engraving um, and let's say you're using some kind of transfer paper, you know, make sure you use a brush because uh, extra somebody got a uh, hold of me and it was like, hey, uh, you know, I used a rag to wipe my tracing off and it disappeared. I'm like, yeah, because you smudged it off. <laughs> so use a brush just slightly and then uh, that will work awesome, you know. Um, so my everyday, you know, engraving machine will be my Fordham uh, K1060. Uh, this is a micromotor. Uh, the reason uh, why I like this is because it's maintenance free. This is all brushless system, um, you know, uh, and yeah, there's no brushes and it opens really easy. Just twist it and it goes up to 50,000 uh, RPM. You know, this is a pretty nifty uh, little tool. And hey, guess what? It doesn't have a flex shaft. Uh, like the Dremel, which is, you know, this is Dremel 4000. You know, this is my go-to guy right here. Um, comes with the, well, it doesn't come with the flex shaft, but uh, I use it with the flex shaft and I got the, the chuck on it, um, the multi-chuck. Uh, this, this works great still, um, but I mainly use it for stippling. Uh, the reason why I like this is it's got a separate button here for your power and speed and also has an internal circuit telling you uh, how fast you're going. So if you're uh, overworking it and, and um, you know, it doesn't bog it down. So I like that about this. So this is uh, a Dremel 3000. This is what I started with. I currently use it for just around the uh, garage and whatnot. Uh, it's kind of dirty right now, but the main difference between the 3000 and the 4000, um, you know, you have your variable control for your speed, but you don't have a off button. So like you can't just switch it off on and leave on the same speed. So um, yeah, that's the only difference, honestly, except uh, yeah, it doesn't have the feedback circuit. So uh, if you bog it down, you know, it, it might run slower than the other one. And plus this one is 1.2 amps uh, motor and the other one, uh, the 4000 is 1.6. So it's a lot uh, stronger motor and uh, it will definitely get your job done. But for beginner, this is a good uh, starter. I will definitely go with that. It's a lot cheaper as well. So, um, yeah, well, I got this. Headset, you gotta have something to protect your ears. Uh, this one is a Bluetooth, so I listen to my music uh, while I engrave, and yeah, these work out awesome. So, yeah. I got a LED panel that I installed. I got this at Costco. Uh, works awesome, you know, it's just like a, a skylight, you know, in a way. Uh, nothing harsh. You know, I. I Installed my own switch here for it, and you can dim it down to whatever. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it. Uh, this is a little pillow that my mom made. Uh, this is full of sand. Uh, basically, if you want to uh, put something like like a knife on there and rest your hand on it, and then. It's a little bit elevated, so it's easier to engrave, you know, that you will use it for that purpose. Uh, you gotta have your safety glasses. And um, so this right here, uh, this pipe system is called uh, Steel Tech. Uh, I kinda had an idea of what I wanted to do here, mounting, you know, different things uh, like cameras. Here I got a little, uh, you know, setup for my phone if I wanna, you know, show you guys what how i engrave uh, in the future um you know this is how i'll be making my videos so i'll be mounting stuff to this pipe 
Um, I got some more stuff coming for it. Um, I'm thinking to, you know, attach some kind of pipe right here and possibly going this way and getting different angles. Um, uh, but yeah, that's a, basically it. Um, this is my pillow that I use for resting my hand on. Um, you know, people are asking me, how do I do such, um, you know, clean and like straight lines? Uh, honestly, just rest your hands, you know, your hand gets tired. So, you know, you wanna keep the hand, you know, nice and rested. And that's the only way to do that. You know, if you're keeping your hand up all the time, you're gonna get tired. So definitely use some kind of pillow or towel, whatever you have. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is basically it, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, oh yeah, if you're if you're using um, tungsten carbide burrs, uh, I would probably recommend getting some some kind of lubrication. This one is called cut, cut lube. Um, it's not bad. Uh, it's not my favorite, uh, but here's another one. It's called uh, Pro Cut. Uh, Pro Cut is pretty good. Um, it's different consistency. Uh, this one is more like a uh, dry consistency, and this one's a little bit more wetter, which I like this a lot. But it slings everywhere. If you if you put your burr right right here, just a little bit above the opening. You're gonna sling that everywhere, so make sure you put it uh, down in there. Cool, guys. Well, that's about it. <laughs> this is my setup. Okay, so if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. You know, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Smash that like button. Uh, you know, this is basically what I use every uh, every time I engrave. You know, um, not all of it at once, obviously, but. Uh, you know most of it so um, yeah if you uh, like videos like this let me know in the comments and if you see anything in here that um, you know you want to you want me to go over with and explain it some more how it works just let me know down in the comments and uh, I will get back to it and make you guys some more content um, hey if you like this video uh, subscribe and also check out my Instagram, uh, you know, follow me on there and look at the uh, things I already engraved that I haven't posted here yet. So, um, well, thanks again and I will see you in the next one. And this is my uh, engraving channel. Um, basically what I, uh,